Hello everybody and welcome to Unmade Gaming. We're not late, you are, but we're here for Island in the Sky. Episode 11? I'm pretty sure it's 11. Called Falling. With us here is the full cast and crew, so let's go around and introduce these lovely faces, hear who they are, who they're playing, and jump right into this. We'll start with Chelsea, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And who are you playing today? You can find me on the internet at little underscore red underscore dot. Um, I am Chelsea, and I am here to play our probably panicking, in fact, uh, dwarf. Uh, mm -hmm. She's having a little bit of a crisis at the moment. I think she's been having a crisis since she punched a hole in the side yeah. of the island. But <laughs> she's just, uh, it's just getting worse, I think. Uh, so she's kind of freaking out, a smidge. I'm going to be real. We have uh, we have Speedy back with us, our goodest boy, uh, yes. back from hiatus. Speedy, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And who are you playing today? Hello, I'm Speedy. You can find me everywhere at Not So Speedruns or follow the mental health community I organize at Cast Together. Uh, and I am playing as Wesley, the goodest of boys, uh, a paladin who is currently in jail and probably freaking out because things are really going bad. And also he's in jail and can't do anything about it. Please send help. My good boy needs it. He is the baddest of good boys. Uh, <laughs> I'm, he's in he's in a bad place, but he's still a good boy. It's true. Uh, we'll jump over to Kenny. Who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And who are you playing today? Uh, I am Kenny Hill. You can find me on Twitch and YouTube at those respective URLs slash Kenny Hill. And uh, I'm playing Alethea, who is really confused about her identity she's kind of having an existential crisis uh but she broke her two friends friends two of her friends she has friends out of jail and yeah th things are going well and they were i mean friends with richard except crazy. for except for the island falling yeah and your good boy great. being in jail yeah and the queen getting eaten by a cockroach monster. I don't know. Things are weird. Wait a second. He's not still in jail. Speedy? No, we Am broke I him out of jail? jail. He's still in jail. He's in, the, the... He's in the magic tower. Oh, yeah, he no. Got taken to the I was in a different jail. Oh, that's right. They moved him. Yeah. But we don't know that he's in jail. We just know that he's been taken there. He's been taken to a different location. Yeah, he could be dead. So right. let's not panic, people. Yeah, he could be dead. Right. That no, could be not dead. falling out of the sky. He could be totally dead. Speaking of I could taking... be interned or I could be <laughs> yeah. no, Speaking of taking Wesley places and locking him up there, Jack, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And tell us about Island in the Sky. Hey guys, my name is Jack. I go by Jacko Buddy everywhere. Uh, Twitter is kind of my main hub, so you can check out all my uh, writing and RPG stuff that I do there. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, Wes is still in jail we assume. Uh, and tonight's going to be super fun because uh, last week we hatched a very exciting plan to jump out of an airship and try and land on a little wizard tower that if you miss, you fall to your infinite death. So, yeah, it should be a good time. I don't remember We're how you talked falling. me into this, but... We're already falling. I, I didn't. Y'all talked uh, me into this. This was not <laughs> my to the episode. Perfect. Perfect. Uh... So here, I don't know what, what you're doing. Um, not only is Jack here to torture us and or kidnap our friends, uh, he's also here on behalf of Reliant Games. Go give them a follow for all of your podcasting needs. They will actually be converting this show into a podcast, and we also have a new podcast coming in 2019. Spoilers, stay tuned for more details on that going through Reliant Games. Uh, also here on behalf of a sponsor is Kenny. Uh, Kenny is here with the Dice of Rolling. They are a full set of polyhedral dice with optimized quantities and fun color for D&D 5e. The holidays are right around the corner. These dice are amazing uh, for your new nerds, your old nerds, anyone interested in D&D 5e. They make great stocking stuffers. Go there, use coupon code UMG, save yourself a buck, uh, and get these sweet, sweet dice. Uh, and if you would like to be part of the team that helps pay the beautiful faces before you, go check out our Patreon. Our whole goal there is to be able to pay the people who make great content for us, for you, whether that is blogs, podcasts, uh, the shows here, uh, YouTube, whatever it is, uh, that's our goal there. Uh, the money goes back to the people that help us and the channel. Uh, that being said, let's jump right into things. Uh, Jack, take us to the island that's falling from the sky. Indeed. Uh, so quick review uh, last time, especially uh, since uh, we didn't have our good boy here. 
last week. Um, so you guys had a bit of a jailbreak. Uh, you guys successfully got yourself out of the cells just in time for Mortimer to show up with his brand new invention we didn't get to see him use. Uh, you got all your stuff back from making best friends with the armory guy who, uh, keep, you know, yeah, and keep keep an eye out for those uh, those wedding invitations, you know? They're coming. I'm yeah. sure they're coming. Right? Um, totally. Oh, that's true. He and, did He did say, where can I send a wedding invitation? And I said, Wesley's house. <laughs> Wesley's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, then y'all went into the throne room where you went, where you kind of threw down with the queen and her paladin buddies. Uh, and then the oracle, which was the being that was telling the queen all kinds of bad things about you guys, apparently. Uh, you beat up the oracle pretty good. It got kind of scared, so it actually ate the queen in order to absorb some of her life and get stronger. But even still, you guys crushed it and killed the oracle. Everything was great, fine and dandy, all roses, the world is all saved. Except, whoops, uh, Anna and Wes are trapped somewhere in the wizard tower. And y'all need them to use the two pieces of keys that you have. And the island dropped a little bit. Uh, likely, you guys had a roof to catch you, so you took minimum damage. But unfortunately, most of the rest of the people who were outside had nothing to catch them, and they fell a decent distance. And so there's people with broken legs, broken arms, concussions, who knows what else. Even some of the more fragile buildings were ripped from foundations or shifted or, you know, all kinds of just all kinds of chaos hit the city. Um, you guys said y'all would go back to Wes's place and hang out while Mortimer went and requisitioned a airship for you guys since his great-grandfather was a pirate in a place where it's really hard to pirate. And, yeah, that. so that's where we're going to pick up is with our exciting excursion into the Wizard Tower to rescue our friends. Okay, that's what friends do, right? Get captured. Get captured. That's what friends do. Yeah. Thank, thanks, Wes. Good job. And, and dive right. out of airships. <clears throat> yep. All right, so let's set a scene, shall we? Uh, the sun is now high in the sky, with perhaps little more than a day left until the world comes crashing down. It is in this sky that we find our heroes sailing high above the chaotic city, which roars below. Buildings have been pulled up from their foundations. People are still being escorted to hospitals and emergency shelters, and several large fires continue to burn in the distance filling the air with smoke. It is in the center of this painting of desperation that the wizard tower stands. Anna and Wes, the final pieces to this complex puzzle, are held somewhere within, girded by the royal guard, an army of paladins, and archmage Calpheon himself. The party waits as the ship draws near to the drop zone, Wingsuits designed by their kobold companion fastened tightly to their backs. This renegade airship's captain, Mortimer, leaps down from the wheel and pulls the party in for one last huddle. Now, remember, we only have one shot at the drop zone. Wait until you are through the shimmering field that surrounds the tower, then pull the red handle to deploy your wings. They won't let you fly but they will allow you to sail down to the roofs below to the rooftop below without hurting yourself. You know, the, controlling your descent and all that. We're, we're really going to do this. We're going to jump out this plane. Or this spaceship. <clears throat> so, so just real quick. So the shimmering field, mm -hmm. the, 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 the ship, can go through it or can't go through it? My, the ship can't, and the wingsuit cannot when it's deployed. But if you activate it once you're inside, you'll be okay. So we want. So we have to wait until we're inside. Got it. Yes. Um, human, did you fully understand that instruction? No. <laughs> no. Okay. So there's going to be a shimmering field. Yeah. And we have to get through it. Mm -hmm. before before we deploy our parachutes. Okay. Did you understand that instruction? I think so. I'm okay. Gonna wait, I'm, would it, okay. How about this? I wait for you to pull your wings out, and then I'll pull my wings out. You know, human, that's a really good idea. Let's do that. Perfect. <laughs> All right. What time are we going in? Uh, well, we are headed towards the tower now, so in a couple minutes. 
the, it's just a couple minutes till we get there. Okay. Yep. Uh, Tisla, how are you doing? Um, I know the last time we were on airship, like watermelons and, um, and like metaphors. I don't, know. I don't, I don't think I can do this. I'm a moving airship. Yes. What if I miss? Will you fall forever? But, no, no, no. If you miss, I, we will figure out you won't miss because Mortimer here is, is going to mm -hmm. take us right up close to the wizard tower. And there's, there's just no way that this plan can go wrong. And yeah. I designed the wingsuits myself. You did. Mm -hmm. Oh, fascinating. Um, and we've seen his inventions before, and they are top notch from what I can tell. Uh, so this, the wingsuit situation, should, is there any other specific instruction besides waiting till we're inside? Just, just the pull the red handle. Is, you just, is it just you get pull the cord or? Yep. Um, pull the cord, the wings open up. And then if and then you what? look what? like flat, you go slower. And if you point your head directly towards the ground, you'll go really fast. Just don't go too fast. Right. It's flat. Yes. Uh, so definitely hold that, you know, flat position, Tisla, and everything should be fine. And it's a new man. Uh, just do do what I do. Follow my lead because I believe that I understand how this whole thing is supposed to go down. And it's really it's it's, it's just it's gonna be simple. I start rubbing like Tisla's back. I'm starting to breathe a little heavy because I'm getting kind of nervous because she's nervous. She's freaking me out a little. Bit. Can so you like, hold my hand? Can I? It's like is there a proximity? Can we do it together. Thing? Like if we do jump together, can we do that and do the hand holding? Yeah, like just make sure you can pull you know the the strings, but sure. Now the wings yeah. might kind of bump each other, so when you pull, you might kind of bounce off each other a little bit if you're not careful. But yeah, I mean. So once I let go, we'll like drift apart for a second, and then we can pull the wingsuits because <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to be bumping each other around, you know, all up <clears throat> in the air. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fine. And yep. yeah. Wolves weren't meant to fly. No, they weren't. But that's oh, yeah, why we gliding. have the wings. You're, you're just gliding. Gliding. Yes, right. it's, it's falling. Falling with it's, style. And grace and control. Uh, so... so it's 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 really nothing to be overly human it is it's fine and it's it, um it's it's gonna be great it's gonna it's gonna be great i just keep rubbing tizzle's back as we get closer to the wizard's tower <sighs> don't worry it's only about two thousand feet down and she has that like moment where she might hurl Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got to like and oh. be okay. Just a little bit further. <laughs> All right, get oh. ready. We're almost there. Oh. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, when's going when's Jack going to roll the D4 to determine which of you has a faulty wing suit? <laughs> right. So, it's <laughs> not. Uh, I I grab on like as we get closer to the wizard's tower, I like stand yeah. towards the the ed one. Good to stand near the edge. I put Tizzle at the end so that if she does vomit, it like goes downwind. Uh, so I'll be in the middle, and I got Human in one hand and Tizzle in the other, and I'm just like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this together. We're we're gonna get Wesley. We're gonna find Anna, and we're gonna figure out what we got to do we don't we're we don't have time to do any other plan but this plan so we have to make it work and i believe in you guys and you, our mission yeah you guys got this i mean look at what you've done so far i mean what's two thousand feet 
uh, magical defenses, an army of paladins and royal guards, and a tiny rope bridge as your only escape route. What? what? You're not. You're not helping. <laughs> oh, fine then. Is it just me? Is everything up here? I can't breathe. It is then up here. Oh God. It's science. She like hurls out the side of the downwind. <laughs> downwind off the side. <laughs> oh, this is it. Get ready. And oh, Mortimer oh. runs over to like the wheel of the ship and gets ready because he's gonna like turn it away from the tower as soon as you guys jump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yay! I'm uh, excited. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Yes, fun. It's gonna be fun. This know. is where I die. This is where I turn into a melon. This is it. This is how it happens. Right. You can turn into Five. melons. No. Four. Four. Yes. Three. Okay. Two. What are we? Okay. One. Ah. Jump. Whee. And I, I just, and I just like go, and I'm, I like, you don't have a choice. <laughs> you yeah, I like, close my eyes. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Even though I'm probably like half your size. Yeah. Like, in, <laughs> like I can probably you're, you're like tackle me. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Then you would probably like swan dived. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like a bird. Doing a good job, human. I can like hear him over the. Yeah. Just, woo, <laughs> this is so fun. First he's a wolf, now he's a bird. All right. Yeah. So, so like, what do we say? Like, oh. Yeah. So, this is how you guys are now falling. Uh, the wind is rushing past your ears. It's pounding into your face and even like chilling your skin at the touch. It's so cold <laughs> up here. Uh, far below, you can see the Wizard Tower, which is a tall, twisted structure of stone and magic. And between you and this target is a thin, shimmering barrier of light that's rapidly approaching you right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Yumin, Tisla, and Alethea fall, and they fall, and they fall. Until at last, you each feel a strange kind of buzzing sensation as you pass through the edge of that barrier. And you are now in the realm of the Wizard's Tower, and this is the moment that you were told to pull your shoots. So that was the moment we were told, but he said, be careful because we might bump against each other. So I kind of mm -hmm. just like not push in such a way that like they will start, you know, flying, squirreling out of control, but just kind of like, I have a feeling Tizzle's already bit. doing that. Just by like tumbling. <laughs> I'm just like, ah! no, not, we're holding hands and it's fine. And we're like, it's great. So we like kind of push off. Imagine I've wrapped myself around your hand, kind of like a cat. Like both no, of her hands are holding like, like wrapped around the hand. Okay, we have to go, but we have to let go now. So I, I let, I let go at least. I don't know what Tizla's going. Tizla, gonna... Tizla <laughs> you let go, and Tizla is just holding on to your metal arm, and it detaches from your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh Actually, my yeah, god! Probably be holding my. <laughs> Freaking out because I have your arm in my hand. That's a disaster. Oh, no. It's a disaster. <laughs> oh, please tell me. I, I guess I pull. I pull my ripcord. If you're, if you're away. Yeah, if, if we're, if we're clear of each other, I guess I'll pull the red hand. Yep. What about you, man? Is he pulling his? Uh, as soon as he sees everyone else, he looks over and says, "Okay, it's my turn." And he oh. pulls his. Okay, so Alethea and you, man, you guys pull your shoot, and these wings pop out of your back and you suddenly feel like this drag from the wind uh, that's kind of slowing you down. Tizzle, you pull yours and nothing happens. <laughs> I hate you so much, Jack. How did I know it was going to be Tizzle? And then about you five or six like, seconds go by and then it suddenly, poof, and they pop out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, pull, 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 pull. She keeps pulling at it. Dude, five or six seconds, I would have been like nose diving. Oh, like yeah. in Actually, I probably imagine that Tizla's arm is just a smidge too short. Oh yeah, like reach or something. It's not, it's not quite. It's not quite as dexterous as you know. And so she's like, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah. Turns oh. out your thing just got caught on like one of the rocks growing at you. <laughs> but finally, boom! So you guys all have cool glider wingsuits now. Okay, so you guys are now gliding. You're about a thousand feet from the top of this wizard tower. But as you, <laughs> what is so damn funny? <laughs> Did you miss Kenny doing her bat suit? It's she just bat suit. Oh, oh wait, I can bat suit. <laughs> bat suit. Yeah. The cardigan game is on point tonight. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a if you don't have a bat suit in this party, you're just gonna split. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <fuck>. Sorry. <laughs> I 
hope your crown saves you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, so you guys are gliding about a thousand feet from the top of the wizard tower right now, heading down. But as you watch, uh, the top of the tower kind of opens up, and in four places, these large cannons rise out. And on the back of each cannon, there is a man, well, a man or a woman, a person who is clad in a wizard robe who is using each of these cannons. And these are magical cannons, and they are aiming them at you like some kind of cool medieval magic anti-aircraft guns. Yeah. So let's roll some initiative in the sky. I thought he said that big cat is. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, this is so okay. These, these were meant to hit ships, not nimble little flying squirrels as we now are. So hopefully we'll be fine. Yeah, I totally. Don't know what a squirrel is? <laughs> I can't look back at you. I don't know what a squirrel. Is. <laughs> And actually, in this world, they're actually like squirrels with with wings, not flying. <laughs> like, like, they don't have the gliders; they just actually have wings that come up. Because <laughs> of course, y'all got the reversed initiative order that I guess y'all would get. I figured it would be Alethea, Tisla, Human. Oh, would you look at that? Well, here we go. Yep, here we go. Okay, so here's how this is gonna work. You guys are one thousand feet from the ground, the top of the tower, I should say. Um, mm -hmm. every turn on your turn, you are going to drop 100 feet closer. Um, instead of having a move and an action on your turn, you have one action and that's it. Cause you're going to automatically lose a hundred feet on top of that. You can choose to use your action instead of like attacking or casting a spell or something to basically point yourself downward and like control your speed. And you're going to drop tw uh, 250 Oh, I see. Okay. So it's like a nose dive type thing. Exactly. So you basically nose dive and get a lot closer to the ground. You don't have to worry like nose diving into the ground. Your character's in control of that. But you can basically use your one action on your turn instead of taking an attack or something to drop and trying it down faster if you choose. And it is going to be human, Tisla, Alethea, and then our cannons are all going to kind of go together. Okay. These magic cannons line up and get ready to... Do some anti-aircraft against not aircrafts. So, human, you're up first. What would human like to do? Uh, I think he just dives. Um, let me see here. I think I got a new dope spell. Let me see what it does. I mean, just so I can be sure. A new dope spell. Yeah. As long as it's dope, you can use it. Yeah. I mean, all of his spells are pretty dope. Um, Is this? Oh well, sorry. Uh. Okay, so these are these are these are actual like cannons. Cannons. This is what's happening, pointing at us. Yeah, there's like a mechanical cannon, and there's a wizard that's wielding the cannon, like using it. And how far away is this? A thousand feet down. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, oh, so then, we're headed. I will say for projectiles, though, it's different than shooting horizontally, like a certain range, because your thing is going to drop. So like a range in terms of like a projectile won't really matter here. Okay. A range right. in terms of a spell effect might. So hold on, let, me, let me get this right. I, we forgot we rested, so let me put those spells back. Okay, so here's what happens. Uh, Yumin, uh, smarter than the average boy, uh, he like puts his wings out fully, so he kind of catches a draft. He understands how animals work at a minimum. And he sort of goes back, so he's now behind Alethia mm -hmm. and Tisla. Uh, and I cast from behind them Gust of Wind. Oh them. man! Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to push them in faster so they can get in yes. underneath the, the cannons. Okay. Are you going to catch yourself in the gust of wind as well? I can't. It comes from me. Okay. So I basically rise back and then I like boom, flap, and then a massive sixty foot long gust of wind forces them forward. <laughs> Tizzle's okay. like. Oh. So we're gonna use that to say it's gonna yeah. add an extra one hundred feet, but you lose every turn for you guys. So okay. you go to the ground fast. So you can either go 200 on a turn or 350. Okay, then. Going fast. And that's it cool. for human. Yeah, so human shoots some wind down, which I imagine the rest of the party is super excited about. Um, speaking of being excited about going really fast towards the ground, Tizla, it's your turn. I haven't shot anything yet, so I think... Well, okay, I have a technical question. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what they're shooting yet, so I guess I can't ask that question. Okay, so I fall fast, quickly. Okay. You and I yell the whole way down. Yeah, I'm going to do the whole, I guess, 350. Uh, you are 650 feet from the top of the tower as you drop like a rock, like a dwarf would. Yes. 
Alethea, we'll assume that you got your arm back in case you wanted to use it. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'll hand it back to her. Fun imaginary scenario. You uh, hand it back to her? I mean, I'm sure at some point she got her arm. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going into this mess without my arm. Right? Yeah. I'm super stoked to be going this fast because a lot of my research was about like propulsion methods and like so this is great so i just like str like pull my shoulders back and just like streamline everything into mm -hmm. like just the most aerodynamic little elf you ever saw <laughs> and i'm i'm going Awesome. So yeah. So at the end of this round, a uh, human is at 900 feet and then the other two are at 650 feet down as y'all are getting pushed by this wind and y'all are flying for the ground as fast as possible. But it is now the turn of the cannons. Uh, the first one is going to take a shot at human and kind of shoot this cannon shot at it. So this cannon shot is actually a magical ball of energy that manifests inside this chamber and then is launched. So it's like straight up a shot of magic. Would you. it be considered a missile? Uh, magic missile. Would it be considered useful for my deflect missiles? No. No. Can you deflect lightning? I mean, I don't. I wouldn't consider it deflect. I can take lightning damage, <laughs> but I cannot deflect it. <laughs> so probably not. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, Eamon, this is coming at you with an 11. Is not going to hit you. Yeah, so this goes whirling past you. Uh, the next two are going to be going at Tizla. So that is a, wow, that's a nat one from it. So that can kind of like jams. Great. And backfires Great. on itself. Like that. We like yeah. it. Wow, that's these games are not good today. They got, they got plus eight to hit, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this last one is coming at uh, our falling rogue. With a 13? Probably not. Uh, I, I am a 13. So, oh, But I also have un uncanny dodge now, which is like a cool thing I learned. Oh, uh, yeah. It'll be fine, <laughs> I'm sure. There you go. Uh, it would be seven fire damage. Uncanny dodge. You have it? These cannons are rolling really bad today. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, roll a one and a two on his damage dice. Okay. She's, she's got like that look. Yeah, so this cannonball basically kind of blows up near you and just kind of singes you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like more soot on my face. Yeah, even more. More makeup. Okay, cool. Back to the top of the order. You, man, you were 900 feet from the ground. Uh, I think he just... Uh, so... They're uh, they're they're way farther than they're, how far how far from the ground are they? They are six hundred and fifty from the ground. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm going to end the spell, uh, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to fly like a, a squirrel, and I like close my arms so I start to <laughs> nose dive, and that's it. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my, my full turn is to uh, is to to move. Okay, so you are at six fifty as well. Um, also at 6.50 for the moment, not for long. Uh, Tizla, what would you like to do? The Are we aiming for a window or a hole or something? The top of the tower. There's like a flat top where all these cannons are and things, and there's an entrance on the top. So you're trying to land on the roof. Oh, Next with all the these cannon. people that are trying to kill us. Is that yeah, what I'm yeah. meant to understand? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okay. That seems like a bad idea. Why was that the plan? All right, so... Because the alternative is a single rope bridge that goes over nothing. What's Wes up to right now? He's being a He's good dead. prison boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's being good. Okay, dead. so, uh, yeah, she's going to dive. I, I'm just going to keep... I, we have a single target, and Tizzle wants to get back on solid ground. So, so you're she, diving? Like, okay. ah! I imagine her mohawk is, like, cutting the air. You are 400 feet from the ground. Oh, yeah. Getting close. <laughs> All right, Alethea, do you want to do anything? Or do you want to just uh, nose dive? I, can, I, I continue to nose dive and be ready to dodge projectiles. Cool. You guys just like, we just want to get down. We just want to yeah, get just, down. I got, we got to get out of this falling <laughs> scenario. <laughs> no. All right. So at the end of round two, uh, human is at 650, Tizzle is at 400, and Alethea is at 400. Getting close ish to the ground. Our two rounds can get you there if you keep diving. 
Uh, but here come some cannon shots. Uh, once again, one is coming at human. With a 27 to hit. I'm going to guess that That hit. one hits. Yeah. I have seven fire damage again. Oh yeah, so it kind of comes by and kind of singes you a little bit, but doesn't quite you know, have a direct impact on you, per se. Yeah. Because uh, you're little and you're meant to shoot at ships. Uh, the next one is going to be going at Tesla With a 21. Now that things are shooting. For six fire damage. I can't roll damage at all, though. That's a minimum damage roll. And then... Uh, Oops. Finally, Alethea, uh, you got two coming at you this round. Okay. Uh, 20 to hit is going to hit oh. you for 14. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I can't. I, nah. Can't you? I was going to say, yeah, you can dodge some of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice of me. Dodgy. And second shot with a 12 is no. Nope. Oh. Yep, so one kind of, kind of blows up pretty good, like right on top of you and burns you a little bit. But you all right. You're I'm, right. Used, I'm used to explosions. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have such a good history of explosions and enduring them. Yeah, I just have, start having like PTSD flashbacks. No big deal. <laughs> yep. All right, top of the order, human. You're six fifty away. He's gliding. All right. So that brings you down to four hundred. Like you're just perfectly behind them. Tesla, you're next. Tesla is going to continue to fall. All right, it brings you to one fifty, so you can land next turn if you fall again. Can I? Okay. Um, yeah, I will mm. do that as long as nothing hits. All right, Alethea. Oh, I'm so I'm so peeved because I just I've been hit a couple of times and I'm not looking great. But I so I want to try shooting them. Can I try shooting them? Yes, you can. From this distance, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a crack shot at the nearest uh, cannon wielder. I don't even care if they actually hit me, but like this is just not acceptable. Yep. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I think you shot a cannon number one. Go for it. All right. All right, a twenty-one to hit is going to hit. So roll Sweet. some damage. <laughs> a whopping four pieces of damage. All Can the I, damage rolls is there. Great. I mean, it, would that be a sneak attack? <laughs> um, I don't think so. No, the no. Green, there's no like ally within five feet of it, like also yeah. fighting it. So I don't believe so. <laughs> All right. <Stay> forever. <laughs> okay. And so you're going to drop just 100. You're at 300 feet to the ground. That's so come to the end of the round. We're at 400, 150, and 300 uh, in initiative order. And it is now the turn of the cannons. Uh, so we're going to shoot two at human this turn. Oh, boy. Let's have it. Oh boy. Oh boy. But 23, you're oh gonna hit it. Oh boy. That one hits. We're 11. Ouch. Second shot. Don't taunt the dice, Mike. That one hits. I didn't taunt that. Oh one. my. Let's have it. You had it. There you go. All right, coming to Tisla. With a 21. Get for it. six. Just six, because it's not a crit. Oh, correct. So I come on to Alethea. Wow, 27. With 11. See, y'all are getting closer. They can hit you now. <laughs> Wowie wow. Yeah, well, the closer I get, the more I can hit, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Wait. She's just going to be even angrier once she lands. Like, it's, yep. just not, it's not going to be good news for them. Speaking of as you land, um, as you guys are getting very close to landing, uh, you suddenly hear this, like, bell sound going off. It's like an alarm. And you see in the middle of the roof, the roof actually kind of opens up, and a fifth larger cannon rises up from this spot it has a much longer barrel and you see yet another wizard on this spot and as he's rising up you see this huge shot beginning to charge in this cannon um it's a rail gun <laughs> it's basically a super mega magic rail gun uh. so as this super magic rail gun uh aims its deadly shot at all of you uh it seems that you know this game is pretty much over and we can all go home early tonight but just before the cannon fires, a loud bang rings through the air from behind all of you. A soaring magical cannon shot burns through the air, striking this super cannon and causing it to spin and shatter. It's one and only attack being flung uncontrolled into the sky and completely missing you guys. No, what? Andy? Yep, behind you guys. I was going to say, who shot it, though? Yep, looking behind you, all of you see Mortimer standing on the deck of his airship behind a sizzling cannon. He he raises his short cobalt arm in the air, and he goes, 
Go save that little girl and the young man too. Our friendship. Our friendship. Oh my gosh, our friendship. <laughs> but then, Yay. but then, as we're all going for friendship, that super cannon shot, which had been flung into a wild spin, arcs back around in the air and crashes into the rear of the wooden airship. Mortimer is flung backward onto the deck and out of your sight. Uh, and the airship's forward momentum is accelerated and sent into a fiery spin, drifting off into the distance. As all of you watch, the airship carrying your friend is hurled into the distance where it slams into the side of a steep stone mountain and a dark plume of smoke is billowing from the destruction of the airship. Hmm. We're back to the top of the order. Human, what do you want to do? Uh, how far am I from the ground? 400. Dwell shit. Uh, I continue moving towards the ground. All right, the nose dive continues. You are 150 from the ground now. Sweet. Tizla, you can reach the ground this turn if you use your turn to do it. I would like to know if yep. I can dive straight with my rocky fist forward <laughs> to punch somebody in the face using gravity on my side. All right, I'm going to give it to you this way. You can try. If you hit, it's a guaranteed crit. If you miss, you're going to hit the ground and take some fall damage. Can I you're... slow fall as a reaction? You, do have a, you are a monk. Oh, you do have slow fall. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Uh, yeah. Works for me. Go for it. Go for that okay. super air punch. Uh, yeah, I am going to super air punch. Here we go. Yeah, the middle cannon is blown up, so we'll say we're going after the cannon that uh, I'm going to be I want just like... Aah! Yep. Okay, so that's going to be a crit because I say so. So go ahead and uh, make that thing hit. So nice. it already rolled crit if you want to take that. Yeah, well, we're going to do the uh, the our special house roll so that second number becomes a six. Oh, great. That is 14 damage. So yeah, just... you you punch the cannon so hard that it cracks like halfway down like the main cannon part and the, the wizard there just like freaks out and jumps from the platform basically onto the ground. Great. Wonderful. Do I get any other attacks? Because that was a single attack, or <clears throat> did I'm sure like <laughs> um, this attack. time that would be your only because that was like your landing also. Yeah, that's true. I had to land him. Okay, mm -hmm. great. I'm on the ground now. Oh. Yep, you were on the ground, and yeah, you know, the first thing you immediately noticed doing this is the moment you like struck this dude's cannon, he just like dropped to the ground. And he's out of the fight. Like he doesn't want to. You don't want to play that grant that game. They're not about that life. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Uh, Alethea, what do you want to do? So Cannon oh. 1 is down because Tizla scared the dude. I am so angry. <laughs> like, my little kobold friend who was part of the friendship huddle and has been helping us this whole time, even though it was really still kind of sketchy in the beginning with the contracts and, and mm -hmm. it's, you know, there's still some uh, there, just got shot and maybe has exploded i mean kobolds are really resourceful so like hopefully he's fine but i just start like screaming i can't make it to the i can't make it mm -hmm. i don't think to the ground but i am cool. like i am like a like angel of death <laughs> like screeching and just nose diving yeah now you're gonna be 50 feet from the ground at the end of your turn so they can be an intimidation check yes <laughs> oh that's charisma isn't it <laughs> it is uh it's unfortunate uh, but we'll do it anyways. I'm very intimidating. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, as you do this, between the monk landing and punching their cannon and cracking it in half, and then you coming down and screaming, every one of the dudes on these cannons just drop, like, their fuses and stuff and just basically go into a fetal position. Like, they're, they're done for this. And allow you guys to land. Because they are wizards, and the last thing wizards want is a bunch of people, especially you guys, coming into close range with them because you would beat the, the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. So seeing you coming down like a screaming, fiery bolt of death, they're like, nope, we're done. And so they all just drop, and the cannons are disarmed. Good. And so you guys are successfully able to land on the roof of this structure. I would like to destroy every cannon. You just make me some athletics. Make I just, athletics. I literally would just want to run around and be like, ah! <laughs> just like throwing cannon pieces. This goes into full rage. 26. You break a hell out of every cannon on your head. I am so pissed. <laughs> yep, 26 will definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, so you have smashed all of these cannons, and 
basically it's now pretty quiet other than like the whimpering of the wizards who want nothing to do with you and you can see uh there is a single way down into the tower uh like the roof access door it is a little staircase going down and then there's a single door do all the oh, you oh, sorry sorry human got hit a couple of times and like he his awesome gust of wind is what got us down here so mm -hmm. fast so i, I want to check on him how are you doing buddy so, so he lands like a full few seconds after you guys because he was so much farther behind you but he lands uh -huh. and goes that was so much fun and you can see that all of his clothes are singed <laughs> and you see like a little like tuft of hair is still like it's like burned up and he's like oh <laughs> guys that was super cool Oh, I wish my best friend Wesley was here to fly with us. <laughs> Question. Yeah? These wizards, do they all look the same, Jack? Are they all, like, all elves and dressed this way, or they all seem like a random group of wizards? Uh, I mean, they're a random group of wizards. They're not, like, clones of each other. They're Great. Just, like, do they, do they all wear... Okay. I walk straight up to them in my rage, and I'm like, ah, take off your robes! Uh, uh, oh. What? All of them! I, I, we need, well, three of them! Ooh. Okay. Not you two. Them. The, the wizards. They completely Ooh, listen to you, and so you guys have three wizard robes. Great. I run over and I'm like, we should put these on, no, I won't blend. Oh. Especially can human fit in one of them. What is human size? <laughs> I'm not going to be like an oversized Technically, he's shirt. medium. He's medium? Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'd say you could probably find like a big, one of the wizards kind of fat or something, and you can take his robe and like stretch it on a human. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, I hold you human like wizards. He puts his arms up, so you put. But he's eight oh, feet yeah, tall. Like, oh, oh, is probably too big and like drapes like an oversized like t-shirt. He's you know? trying to wiggle it down. And, I got the wings oh, still. Oh. How do I put the wings down? I can't get the oh. wings in my hands. I'll figure oh, it out. <laughs> Tiz is like, we should hurry. Come on. Human stuff. It's like when you, when you hand a toddler a coat and they're trying to figure yeah. it out. It's like all awkward. <laughs> yeah. So what are y'all doing with y'all's wingsuits? Oh, right. Yuen still has his on. I was about to say, I guess I, we help Yuen get undressed and redressed. Um, Cause I, I'll probably have to do the same thing. We gotta take them off. Can, can, we, can we figure out how to like disengage the wings so that we could potentially reuse them if we needed to exit from the roof? Hmm, make get, me, off the, get off the roof, get off the roof. Make me an investigation. Okay. Good, Good idea. No, I was. I'm still raging, yeah. and helping you, men. <laughs> yeah, you can't figure it out. In fact, you're probably just like, "How do you do this?" And you push it so hard, like yours probably like snaps or something. Okay, snap. Okay, well, I take my wingsuit off and I, I drop it and leave it. I'm like, well, I don't know that we're exiting this way, anyways. It's and true. I'm coming kind out of right cool. our exit strategy, so. And I go straight over to the door, put my wizard's robe on, and I fling it open. Right. I follow after her. Me okay. too! Come on, so, <laughs> so flinging open this door, you see a short kind of spiraling staircase that goes down into the tower. Okay, everybody, look like wizards. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, can we move with some stealth? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can make rolls for that. Absolutely. No. Nope. Do you say I'm that? I'm tripping over. Do, yeah, we to, do we have to be quiet? We should. Okay. Remember, want me to show her too? And he looks to Alethia. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The quiet and the tippy toes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Remember. Mm -hmm. oh. Miss Tisla, you have to mm -hmm. go like this. And he like stands up on his tippy toes. And then he puts his hands up here. And you have to walk very, very quietly. And in doing so, I cast Paths Without Trace. Nice. Uh, yeah. And everyone gains a plus 10 to their stealth. That makes her nine a whole lot better. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> but Thank only you. when you walk like this. <laughs> and you just, see you, human, walk you just see human doing that very quietly. Tesla attempts to mimic as close as possible. We just get a montage of you guys walking like that all the way down the spiraling staircase. It's like a Scooby-Doo Saturday special. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you rolled that, because uh, that'll be a 19 and a 15 now. So far, yeah. that's a whole lot better than a We're doing better. And let's see if our rogue can do better. Wow. Oh, there you go. Rogue is super quiet. Like, y'all don't even... Like, she takes one step and just disappears from sight. Okay. See, I knew you'd get it. Way for to keep it west. So, question. Uh, I was not aware that the Wizarding Tower had 
any sort of place to keep uh, people uh, under lock and key. But if they're uh, the, at the very top here, or the first thing we should hit would be the Archmage's uh, offices. And most likely, that's where all the action is going to be going down. Okay, so just down. Yeah, just, just down. Okay. Just, just okay. down. Okay. So we're going down. Okay. Yeah, so following the staircase, uh, luckily for you, the staircase just leads to, like, the one room it can possibly connect to, um, which basically you come into a long kind of narrow hallway that kind of follows the outside kind of uh, rounded edge of the tower. There's some windows to the right looking out across the city. And then to the left, it, the whole wall is just made up of a bunch of bookshelves. And you can see this hallway goes, goes off four ways and then opens up into kind of a larger library-looking room. Um, Alethea would know this to be the library that normally only, like, the highest-ranked wizards are allowed in. It's actually above, like, the Archmage's uh, offices and her father's offices. And it's, like, you have to be very highly ranked to be in here normally. Just, like, as we're passing through, do I see anything of interest? Uh, roll perception. You see a lot of books that sound very interesting, but more tailored towards, like, wizards and people like that. You're not really a magic user, more of a scientist. Mm -hmm. And they don't have a lot of science-based books in here. But a lot, of, you see a lot of very intriguing sounding spell books. There's like spell books on like how to, in theory, like control weather and all kinds of stuff up here. Cool. Uh, I don't probably take any of them then. Okay. Not that I would, not that I would steal them, no. but borrow uh -huh. them and then bring them back at a later date once we've saved the world. Yep. So you are taking some, you said, or you're not? No, no. I mean, I mean, I could. <laughs> the most ambiguous thing yeah sorry. <laughs> i feel like she's just like standing there like juggling the books in her hands this is like, just an internal it. monologue actually happening yeah. in her head uh, so I, I i take the most interesting one okay i'll just take one you take a book that basically describes how weather works yeah cool. it's like a meteorology book yeah that, i mean that could be useful you Press, air pressures and and things yeah totally strike lightning down on your foes or that. Well, that's in chapter 19. You have to read all the boring stuff first to get to the fun at the end. It's just like, stop looking at the books and let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you want to head down this hallway? Uh, yeah, if it's the next available way into deeper stuff. It is. Okay, that's the one. All right, so you guys stealthily make your way down this hallway. But about the point you're halfway down this hallway, you suddenly hear the sound of thundering sets of boots. And you realize that, you know, as stealthy as you are, there were cannons going off on the roof. And so there's probably a battalion of paladins on the way to investigate why they were shooting cannons and, like, sounds of warfare outside. Oh, uh, them look like wizards look. I do look like a wizard looks. Look at my... Let, oh, back to the library! Okay. Okay, it's, uh, it's, can I can I ascertain like how far the archmage's quarters and offices would be versus how close the boots sound? Um, like, do the boots sound like they're between us and the offices? Yes, they would be in this library coming this way within seconds. Uh, the archmage's office is a floor down from where you are. Okay, so yeah, maybe hiding amongst the library books is a good idea. Yeah, I'm on board with that because I I don't think we can make it past these guys. So okay, as you yeah. as you like say, let's hide in the library books. Uh, suddenly, one of the the shelves slides away, and you see a figure clad in a white robe and hood, like kind of pop his head out from here and gesture you inside quickly into the okay. secret passage open. I I follow without question. What, was that part of the plan? Why would I know? Just, just come on. The wall. Okay, come on, you. I didn't think we had a plan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> human has it on the head we don't have a plan <laughs> yeah, so, so anyone you... offering help i'm taking it cool that's true yeah so you guys uh go into this room and he like closes the secret passage and within a couple seconds you hear uh these running footsteps like run past where you just hid 
outside and you see that you're now in a small almost kind of a little office room there's like a, a small desk and a couple books on it and it seems like a kind of it's kind of dusty like people probably don't use this secret chamber very often but there are two figures in this room there is the man in the white robe who has just rescued you and then sitting on the chair is your good boy wesley am i awake you are awake and you know that this white robed man actually busted you out of the room where you're being held not 10 minutes ago and brought you here not really explaining much oh my god friends that's my best friend what are you doing hiding in the wall that's a good spot Uh, to hide hiding from the those guys we can't stay here we gotta get out of here and who's the man in the white robe Oh, allow me to introduce myself. And he pulls back his hood, and Alethea immediately recognizes her father. Uh oh. Alethea, I met your dad. I was your dad. <laughs> That's your father. Hello. Did we know that was. Couldn't we have just asked him for help this whole time? She you did. Know, you know. That's why I'm here. I got your message. You got my message. You got my message. And you knew it was for me. I did. And I knew that if you were back in the kingdom of magic, something must be very wrong. And on the same day that they're bringing Princess Anna into the tower, I mean, Wait. it's an easy, easy equation. Okay. So, so, so yes, thank you for uh, Wesley. And uh, um, <clears throat> do, do, how are you? Uh, Good, other than being a fugitive, potentially, right now. I don't know if we have time for this. You guys can probably hug, but we should probably also get going. Like, oh, like, oh, I hug him. I glomp him. Like, as soon as Wes is like, you can probably hug him. And I was like, like, I needed permission. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he, like, hugs you back, and the whole group just goes, oh. Yay. Well, we, we flew. I had wings. We did, but... First, Anna, do you, do you know about Anna? And we still need to find her because as much as Wesley is an important member of this group, uh, we, we, need, uh, we need Anna as well to complete our mission. We have a mission. I'll have to tell you about that later though. Yes, of course. Uh, well, the princess is being held in Archmage Calfion's quarters, uh, fl- a floor below us in his main study. I can get us there. But you're going to have to get her out. Well, that's not a problem. We can do that. Do we have an escape plan or just an entry one? Are they only guarding the Archmage's rooms? Or, like, is the rest of the tower, like, once we get her, can we fight our way down? Or are there too many? Or is there a secret way out of here that I've never known about? Well, fighting your way down is going to be difficult, but that's the only way I know of to get out of here. Uh, okay, well, it's not like we're incapable of fighting. We, we, I can put up a fight. Yeah, yeah, we can fight, and and we have Wesley again, so that Wesley will be- can fight, right, Wesley? Yeah. You're not hurt. Wesley's not good at fighting. Oh, yes, Paladin, I have your gear as well. Uh, here he holds up like a big, a big sack that's like overflowing of like metal plates and stuff. Thank Wesley you. Wesley doesn't was... even like to fight. <laughs> I don't, but well, well you better learn. I, I'm going to defend you if I have to. Right. Um, thank you for the armor and stuff, sir. Uh, Alethea's dad. Did um, you have a name? Oh, do we ever give him a name? Or... Yeah, Basil. Basil. Oh, that's right, Basil. Yeah, you're right. I'm such a good DM. Uh, they call me Basil. Basil. I am second only to Archmage Calfion himself. I see. But after oh. today, I might be Archmage. So, I mean, <laughs> question. <laughs> Not done a great job. Ed. If we get to go and we fight out to the front or something, then what? <clears throat> I was assuming you know what to do, why you needed her. Well, Allegedly, know Anna knows the right. Like Anna knows the way, right? That's the thing. Right. Yes. Uh, Anna, we'll see. Anna was going to tell us the way. That's what Riken said. 
Well, I have a good side question. How did y'all get the other piece of the key out of Tizzle's stomach? Have it yet. Oh. Yet. Wait, the other piece of the t- key is in Tizzle's stomach? I missed oh, this. Yes. So in a, a daft moment of necessity, Tizzle ate one half of the key to you, keep it safe. You remember how... Uh, Chelsea wasn't here for an episode, and then she told us that she was listening to the episode she missed, and she was like, what are you guys doing? Well, when it was her turn to play, she ate the key. I did. <laughs> no, that was her solution for... Oh. I we were about to go in with this crazy woman. Tizzle was fed up. We had a fake key. She was fed up and The other half of the real key, and she had the other key, and we needed to make sure she could get her hands on it. So I put it in the one place she couldn't. <laughs> It's funny because she ended up in something stomach, so. That's actually <laughs> true. <laughs> the poignancy in the whole of it was just like, very accurate. It'll come back out. It'll be fine. I yeah. can't imagine that'll be comfortable, but how well, long? Okay, listen, we have like ooh, ooh. two days left. I don't know how long your bowel movements take, but I really don't want to push this. <laughs> well, if you must know, I'm a dwarf, so it's pretty regular. Okay. Okay, but... Uh, Papa, Papa, one, do you, so do mm-hmm. you remember that gross stuff you used to give me when I was little and make me throw up? Yep. Do you still have some of that? Oh. Oh, yeah, I always carry it on me, you know, in case up. I uh, <clears throat> eat certain dishes that <laughs> you think to me. I mean, I could, I could up chip it. I guess that's one way to do it. Well, that's, I mean, if you needed help, there's this gross, gross stuff that I used to have to take as a kid when I would accidentally eat some of Papa's experiments. But ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Uh, uh, you need to get something out of your stomach. Is it metal? It is. You ever play the children's board game Operation? No. I know a magnetism spell. I think I could lift it back up. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Well, that is that that okay. Will it, it will it hurt? Uh, is that well, if, just pass it? Well, if I uh, bring it up straight, it won't. But if I bump the edge of your esophagus or stomach lining or you know, so you should probably lay down. Yeah, <laughs> and open very wide. <laughs> is this the time okay. you're doing this? Right you're now, you want to operate to kick? Well, he's the only one that knows it. He's not coming with us, so we're either going to have to let Tizzler pass it, or I should just lay down and let him operate. Well, considering about my calculations, we have a, maybe at most a day until there's no more magic in the air. I suggest we get this. Yeah, Tizzler's like she like flops on the ground. She's like, okay, I'll lay real still. Ah. All right, roll me a constitution saving throw. Jesus. I think plays operation with a magnetism spell. You good. Okay. Yeah. And so basically he starts like over your stomach and kind of holds his hands up and then starts just moving it down your body and you actually feel like something kind of like slithering in your throat a little bit. Uh, and then the key just comes rising back up like out of your mouth. It's like, hey, here you go. That was handy. It was a lot easier coming up than going down. I recommend you uh, you wipe it off before you touch it. Oh, I like hold it up and I'm like, she just like wipes it on herself, not caring at all. <laughs> okay, we did it. Now we have both saps of the keys. You put them together. No, oh. not till we get there. In, we in the we safe need to first oh. because who knows what will happen when these keys. Actually, do I know what happens when these keys come together? I think I do. Don't we just get transported somewhere? But if that's the case, then we definitely want Anna with us. True. So True. I think we're ready to go kick some more butt. Very well, then I will lead you as far as I can. And so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to lead you to Archmage Calfion's chambers. He's the only one guarding the chambers because he's the only one they need guarding it. So I will step out and I will do something I have planned to do for a while anyway and challenge the Archmage for his seat of power. Ooh. He'll be too busy fighting me to stop you. And then you will use this key, and he pulls out a golden key, to unlock the door, take the princess, and run. That seems mighty dangerous for you. No, it seems like a right fine plan. I mean, that's how you become archmage, is it not? I don't know. I'm you. Me neither. I also don't know. Well, it is. 
And well, it's all, to have your dad it's, it's, a little, it's just a little more violent of a duel than normally takes place, but things must be done. Violent? Well, well we've got you back. I mean, oh, I bet we can't help you. Do then. not involve yourself in a battle against the Archmage. You won't get within 15 feet of him. Okay, then. So... Daddy's going to deal with the Archmage and we're going to get to go and run. So, so yes. So that's, I guess, that is a plan. Uh, it I, it's just seems awfully dangerous, but I guess we don't really have much of a choice. And so we might not see each other for at least 24 hours if things go well, but longer if they don't for some reason. So is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, <laughs> hmm. You know I'm not good at these kind of things. Who is her mom? Um, okay. <laughs> That's a good question. She just interjects like, tell us. Oh, I know, I know something I can tell you, actually. But it's but my, my is learner? Her, her mother is. What is this? What's who your mother is? What? You know that scene from the never ending story when the kid's laying down in the thing and he's like, yeah, and he yells at the book and the people look up in the book. That's Wesley. <laughs> She's that yeah. kid. <laughs> Who's your mom? Huh? Her mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a complicated answer. That is, I think that's up to her to tell you. It's a long, long, long explanation, and we don't have time for that. But I do have something I, I can tell you. I read that. I read your paper, your research, even after I mocked you for it and laughed at you for it. It was actually quite brilliant. Also. <laughs> The only yeah. reason I ever wanted you to be a wizard instead of a scientist was because of your mother. And when you when you finally understand that, you'll understand why I treated you the way I did. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Well, I glad you enjoyed the paper and I wish you luck. But of course you used the wrong form of fair. It should be E R E. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. Catching me on my grammar mistakes? Really? It's a pretty it's basic one. I mean... Hey, she wrote a paper. Sorry. You're right, I haven't written. Research and such. It's much better than I could do. So if you're going to make yeah, sense... No, say well, right? Methods. Like, I have been also researching the end of the magic and trying to find a solution where nobody else really seemed concerned about it. So I think that I'm doing pretty well, all things considered, and just... I agree. Miss Alethea? You've awesome. never changed. Bye. Miss Olivia? Yes, human. I don't want you to be a wizard or a scientist. I just want you to be you. Yeah. Thank you, human. That's so sweet. Thank you. She's nice. Okay, let's let's go. Let's we go. are we are wasting time. <clears throat> and right. We have Anna to save. So and get some answers from because right. we got sent to jail. So no, Wesley, look at this. It wings. Whoa. Cool. I know. It was super cool. We flew out of a ship to save you. We kind of fell out of a ship. Yeah. Um it's fine. We did it. It was it was cool. I was cool about it. You fell out of a ship? No, we jumped out of it and went wee Yeah. Yeah. And then we 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 glided down to the roof. Yeah. And yeah, it was fine. I didn't panic. Yeah. Jed, catch me up on the way. We need to do this thing. <laughs> Miss Alethea said, oh no. And then I said, we. And then Tisla said, oh. She enjoyed it a lot. She screamed the whole way down. Like it was so fun. <laughs> Can we save the little girl now? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Tisla's like, Poof, out the door. <laughs> it sounds like you did great, Tisla. <laughs> I, I did really do great. I killed all the cannons. Okay, so punched again. You, so the white robe wizard Basil leads you guys down, uh, the kind of out of this library where the soldiers seem to have kind of passed and gone up to the roof to investigate. Um, he leads you to these libraries, maybe ducking a couple guards, things like that, and into kind of one of the side stairwells that takes you down a floor to the same level as the archmages. Uh, chambers until finally you come to a very familiar hallway to uh, to most of you 
uh, those of you who came to the Wizard <laughs> Tower, as you were in the hallway near where Basil's office is and where Archmage Kelfion's is, and in front of the Archmage's office, kind of look around the corner, you can immediately see the Archmage, who is actually in a very deep blue, almost black robe. And there's actually like lightning crackling around his fingers, and he is just standing in front of these large doors. And Basil looks at Ollie and says, all right, this is what I was talking about. I'm going to step out, and when I be, when I distract him, you need to A, dodge all the magic that you're about to see, and then two, you need to get to the door, get Anna, and run. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Okay, where do we run? I suggest down, because there's no way out up. Because we, we've been here before, human, so we're going to go back down like we did before. No, I remember that, but were there guards yeah. everywhere? That might be a problem, but one problem that's at a time. You'll have to take the spiraling stairs down the six levels. The elevator is oh. disabled. Great. No, that's fine, uh, it, because we'll have the advantage because we'll have the high ground, and I know how high ground works, so it'll be great. And, it, yeah, we'll grab Anna, and we'll, and we'll go, and or, yeah, it'll be fine. How does it work? Sure. And then he steps out from behind the cover he's in and begins walking towards the archmage and says, well, Kelfion, we knew it was coming for a long time, but you've become corrupt. You've become twisted. And it is time that a new archmage takes his place on top of this tower. Ooh. And with that, he raises his hands and this like white like beams of light kind of come out of his hands as the archmage shoots like some force lightning looking magic and their spells basically lock in the middle and althea would immediately ring this as a magic duel when two magicians basically just put their magic up against each other and see whose is more powerful Whoa. and for oh. the moment the way to the doors is clear as they fight yeah. to the side of the space i run for them yeah we have to we have to go go because like uh we we don't want to get in the middle of that because <laughs> it will hurt. Uh, yeah, so Tisla runs for the door. Yeah. Got to tell her twice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you see as you run, uh, the Archmage kind of goes to lift his hand to stop you. And then Basil puts like another like oomph into his spell. And the Archmage is immediately drawn back into the fight. And he kind of grits his teeth, unable to stop you without lowering his defenses too far. Are the doors locked? When yes. You they are locked, but one of you has the key. I do. She oh. does. So I just unlock it. I'm glad you got there because I was about to punch yep. it open. Yeah, you open a door and they kind of swing open and you immediately see Anna in the middle of the room. And as soon as you open the door, she comes running towards you guys and goes, goes you found me. Thank the goddess. Yay. <laughs> Yay. But, child, yeah. you have some explaining to do. Why did we get thrown in prison? when we went to our meeting place there were guards waiting for us and it was my mother she found out about what we were doing i don't know how she spied on us or something and she knew as soon as you left she sent guards for me they dragged me here and they set the trap for you oh no did i tell you that it's a good thing she got eaten what what um your mom got eaten by a no. giant oh, bug crab yeah, man. <laughs> She got eaten? Yeah, the uh, whole big giant bug crab came in and ate her. Okay, so the oracle, which was not really an oracle at all, was a giant, a giant kind of hard shell critter, um, came out to ceiling and it began fighting. And then when it got injured, it needed some energy and it saw your mother as that source. And it ate, oh. ate her. Well, we have a staff for you. We okay. Do. You win. Oh, I have a step for you. Here, you can have this. And I made it pretty with vines. Look at this. And she kind of takes a staff and holds it and looks at it. And she has kind of a look of shock on her face, but not like the saddest look. Like, uh, you would all pretty much get the impression she knew that her, like, her mother, the queen, was insane and potentially evil. Human, and squats, right. down, human squats down to her and says, Hey, as long as I'm around, I promise I won't let you get eaten. Uh, thanks, human. No problem. Uh, we we should really, really get out of here. And she looks over at the two guys flinging lightning at each other. Yeah. Um, do you know cool, right? we know the best way out? Down? 
out the front door is the only way I know. So, okay. So now that Anna's here and now that we have both keys, because we, we were able to also get the necklace from your mother, um, before she was <clears throat> devoured. Uh, so maybe we should try putting those together now because that kind of take like us somewhere. I don't know. I thought they opened something. Anna, do you know the way to the center of the, the island? Uh, yeah. No, but I think the key's about to show us when we're all together. It's well, guess to... what? I'll hold out my half. Who's got the other half? You have both halves. Oh, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> and I put, I put the two halves of the key together. Like, you don't even have to ask permission. You just do it. Yeah, <laughs> like, there we go. Eight <laughs> and you pour the other. You put the two halves together and nothing happens. And then you realize you accidentally used the fake piece, and then you pull out oh, the actual real one. Damn it! I crushed oh, I the fake one. Okay, uh, uh, I'll try like this. I pinch the two pieces together. All right, so you pinch them together; they fit perfectly. And when you do, you see there's these little recesses on them, and there are five little crystals. And when you put it together, one of the crystals lights up. Oh, look at that! It's shiny. Well, that was a bit like luster. I no, press, press, press the crystal, press the crystal. Oh, press it, it's a button. Is it a button? It's not a button. Oh, well, oh. shit. I was well, expecting I, it to be a, a Simon Says. I, I want to <laughs> inspect it and see if there's... Yeah, I hand it over. That's far beyond my capability. Okay, uh, both of you make perception checks. There's a little here. Oh. I get to make one, too. Oh. Nope. All right, so, uh, Tisla, you don't see this, maybe because you're too short and the light's on the top when you're handing it to Melody, who's much taller, but she sees it. When At the moment when both of you are holding the key at the same time, two of the lights light up, and then when you let go and give it to her, it goes back to one. But Oh, my God, it's a friendship sphere. Okay. It's a friendship okay. key. So, yes, I... Exp- I, so like yes, guys, we all I think we all need to touch it in order for all of the pieces to light up. Because when we were holding it, it lit up for a second and then she let go, and then now it's just one again. Look, and like it's like a different one that's lit up, right? So you guys can yeah, see. Yeah, touch different. it. Well, get over my here. Hand, my hand has been on it since you said the first thing. Okay, you've been, you're, you're on board already. <laughs> you look over and Human is still squatted down next to Anna, and he has his hands out to and then you. Pat your hands on my hands, and then we uh-huh. clap, and then I Yuvin, pat your hands. Yuvin. What? Yuvin? Yeah. Anna? Yeah. We need to come touch this uh, key now. There's so a wizard battle fun. going on right there. I know. True story. Well, you guys told oh, me I could go on. And, like, burns a bookshelf next to him. Okay. Now, and he just please. reaches up and grabs the key. Come on, Anna. Okay. Yep, and Anna touches it as well, and as all the lights light up, the crystal starts go- or the key starts glowing, like, blue. All the way around it, Ooh. and then a little narrow blue beam of light shoots off and flies against one of the walls. Neat. Now what? I don't know. Do you punch it? <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Is it a direction? That's what I'm thinking. Is it pointing? Does it seem like it would be pointing towards the center of the island? Because it seems like it might be pointing towards the center of the island. Definitely pointing in that general direction, like, but not necessarily. It's not going down, down though. It's pointing the same yeah. general elevation, maybe a little bit angled down. But, Which direction? Uh, towards the inner part of the island, but you can't tell like specifically where from inside. We, we need to get outside. Let's go. Okay. Wait, oh, we east. can go back to the roof. Oh, but then we can't get down. No, we should go to the front door. We can get down. He well, raises his hands again. And you see his spider suit, or his wing suit. Still on. Yeah. Spider suit. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what he does on Saturday nights. That's a different, that's a different I guess, suit. I guess if like... Human used his suit to carry Anna, and then Tisla used her suit to carry Wesley, and then I used the broken suit and prayed for the best. That seems a bit. That seems a bit risky. I'd rather go out the front. You okay? Well, as long as you're fine with that, then let's do that instead. Because honestly, I, I don't think my dwarf heart risky. can handle falling twice in a day and regurgitating a key. So that's fair. A bolt of lightning flies your door and blows up the desk like Jeez. five feet away from you. Okay, so this. we're going downstairs. Yep, and we like scutter past them. Okay. Yeah, so you guys kind of run past and probably duck a couple bolts of lightning. Uh, you are now in the kind of main entry hall of the tower, and it's six floors in total. Um, and looking down, here's what you see. You basically see the spiraling staircase that goes all the way across these six levels that you could run down. But at about the third level, you see a large battalion of about 30 or 40 paladins all running up the steps towards you. 
So just going down the stairs is pretty much a no-go because you'll be caught by paladins. But there are not many on the first level because they're all on the third level running your direction. So if you can find a way past them. Well, who wants to jump, jump for it? What? You like to punch things, right? That is a true statement. Do you, do you like punching floors as much as you like punching walls? It's all the same, flat surfaces and whatnot. Maybe, I mean, like, I know the structure is kind of, and I've got pro- some, some small bangs in my, my bag, so maybe, maybe we can try to wait for them to run up past and then get down to the Does it seem the, like we could hide the from them? Or- they are pretty much coming up there because there's lightning flying around the room, but it's possible that they know you're there as well. You're so sure. remember how we was talking about dropping off the roof? Could we simply jump from here down, beat them to the bottom, and take the stairs out? I don't have a suit. How You said six That's floors? Good. How far is that foot-wise, just for knowledge? We will say they're probably pretty high ceilings because it's a fancy wizard tower, so I'm going to say it's about 60 feet. Okay. He is... Oh, you'll survive, but it's going to be a lot of HP damage. I was about to say, well, I can, I can slow fall. Yeah, you can slow fall. So you have my suit. You take the Wesley. You take the girl. I'll slow fall. Hey, I have an idea. Oh, God. Uh, and you see him standing in front of a door, and he steps to the side and says, Punch this one. The, the door. door? You punch this door. Is it and he look he looks to Alethea and nods like she has any idea what he's talking about. This one. Uh, Remember? And he I- looks to Alethea. <laughs> Should I punch it? Althea? It's a door. It's the one door. No? Just punch it. Go for it. I... I'm just, I'm trusting you. It. I'm trusting people. Roll some athletics. See if you can punch that door. I, what? Yep, you punch the door. These are the 15. It, it's the elevator shaft. The <laughs> elevator is broken. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. The elevator is disabled and it is on the first floor. Right now, but you can we can use probably that tunnel. get down there and avoid the guards. And I, I have rope. I can let rope down. Is is it not hanging off of a center like pulley system? So it's magic. It's a magic, uh, it's a magic elevator, so it's not. <laughs> well, it kind of warps you up and down. I, know, so it's I thought of it too, and I was like, "There's no way that's that that, that easy." But no. but you do have rope. So, but I, yeah, so I drop a like grapple something to anchor and mm-hmm. rope. rope. Alright, Rogue, roll me a sleight of hand to like mm-hmm. tie a good knot and stuff for this rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that, you're a rope. There you go. Cool. We found something to tie it off to, so we're good. Yeah, you're kind of tied to like one of the pillars or something. Okay, well, if we got to go one at a time, we best hurry. Okay. Go, go, go! Alright. Okay, Yumin, you help <clears throat> Anna. Okay. Okay. And he puts her in a backpack. That's awesome. Great. Wesley, can you make it down in your armor? <gasps> it's Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> wow. Throwback. Oh my God. Throwback. It's Throwback uh, Thursday. I can try. Okay. So now you're heavy. <laughs> okay. Well. Poof. Tizla, you gonna you gonna make it? You said it's six stories down to the top of the elevator that sits at the bottom of the shaft? Yep. There's a rope you can go down. So if you want to, like, climb down the rope or kind of use a rope to, like, rappel down, it's going to be your acrobatics or athletics and a DC of 15. Okay, so I could go to the bottom and you could jump and I could catch you. You know, just be there to catch you, you know, if you fall. Yeah, yeah. you 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 don't want to catch me. You could spot people, I suppose. Um, so this is this. okay. Um, five times my monk level. Yeah, the okay. guards are on like the fifth floor right now, so they're oh getting pretty God, close. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Um, okay, yeah, Tisla Tisla makes the first jump, and she's gonna go to the bottom first. That way, she can catch anybody that falls. Doesn't matter, even if she doesn't make it, because she slow falls the whole way down. Okay, yeah, so you're gonna slow fall down. Cause you get like most of the way, and then you kind of like get tired, and you're like, screw it, and you just uh, like, yeah. I was like, why did I do this? Yeah, and I I I, I probably like, parkour from one wall to the other, like down, um, yes. to the bottom, and then I'm like, okay, quick. Okay, Wesley, you're next. Athletics or acrobatics? 
Nope. I catch okay. So with an 11, you're going to get to where you're about 20 feet away from the bottom, and then you're going to slip, and you're going to fall 20 feet. She's going to try to catch you, though. So I need an athletic oh. to catch his weight. Oh. oh. He crushes me. That was a really bad roll, because I have a seven athletics. Okay, yeah. so we're going to roll fall damage for 20 feet, and you're only going to each take half of it. Okay. Not so. that bad. Because yeah. it's 1d6 for every every 10, so it's 2d6. So I'll show 2d6. Oh, yeah, you take two fall damage. That Great. seems reasonable. I did. Oh, I told you I'd catch you. Oh, okay. Put your hands. It's <laughs> like you kind of oh, fell too. Into the elevator. I'm like, they're alive. Okay. So, human, Anna, because I hear the clonk, 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 clonk. <laughs> yeah, of them coming like up. <laughs> okay. Ready? Hold yep. on. And he looks to uh, he looks to Anna, and then he just begins to fall forward and turns into a spider. And as his arms kind of go down, he's poof, and then just crawls the rest of the way down the thing. Well, we got it. Wow. Oh. This is weird. I, yeah, I and then I'm just like I peace out and I like <laughs> just I want to say like do some sort of backflip, but that's very not <laughs> the wise decision here. And I but I'm I'm out. I'm down. I I slide. All right, make a acrobatics or athletics. I also have. Uh, yeah, you're like building climbing thing. Yeah, the, the, I have like the second story work, so probably wouldn't have mattered. But you're level 22, so you could totally do a backflip. Well, and as you backflip, you see like the top of the the dude's helmet about to come up the stairs, and then you drop just in time to not be seen. Please. Out. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. and you slide down this rope, and you guys are now at the bottom, and you see uh, the front gate is open, and for the moment, unguarded, because all the guards are running upstairs to deal with the flying lightning bolts. Okay, let's go. I am oh, down yeah. a rope, but I'm sure that will be fine. Uh, as you say that, Ewan reaches out a hand, and then a little tiny campfire appears in it, and he grabs the rope, and you just see it like... Tss. Nice, nice. <laughs> that too. What an exploit. Just to get rid of it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That is wonderful. Good job, human. Thank That's you. Right. I'm just gonna make a note that I'm kind of getting longer. good at this, you know. Mm -hmm. mm. Nope, bro. Good yes. to be a spider. I know that was fun. Oh, sometimes some other things too, like a wolf. Yep. And right now we are getting Running. out of here. <laughs> okay. So, do we run into any problems as we're like making our way? Through no, the no, ground floor of the wizard's tower? Nope, not inside the tower, but you do get to the 60 foot long rope bridge that runs all the way to across the chasm, and you do see some soldiers at the end of this bridge. Okay. That is not good. Um, okay, what, what if we do this again? We go very, very quiet. No? Are they just are they, blocking the bridge? I was about to say, are no. they facing us? They're kind of watching the bridge. I haven't necessarily noticed you yet, but they're like guarding the bridge. What's um, below this bridge? Nothing. nothing. You fall off the island because it's. Remember, there's like a hole in the island that oh. goes all the way through. Who like, designed this oh. island? That's silly. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool wizard tower floating over nothing. I mean, I see. Yes, I do remember that now. Um, it's a donut. It's why we it's flew donut. in. Okay. The inverse donut. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how do we do this? We need to. So, so they, so they are facing us or aren't facing us? They're not really facing. They're kind of like side, like kind of they're like leaning against the posts of the bridge at the other end, though. So, like yeah. if you go running away, at some point they're going to notice you coming across the bridge. Right. Um, hmm. Don't have much of choice. So well, let's just get. There's only two of them. Uh, there is, um, what is, I, mean, I think there's ten, there's ten of them, there's ten of them. There are ten. ten. That is not ten! Ten. There were two immediately, like, against the bridge, and then there's, like, eight others. Okay. This is that group that you had to, like, bribe your way past the other day. Right, so, question, mm -hmm. how big is this chasm? Um, 60 Could feet I, away. 60 feet. I can throw farther than 60 feet in real life. So, like, could mm -hmm. I throw one of my little, uh, like, smoke and mirrors bombs to the other side of the chasm into that alleyway that's, like, nearby to try to distract them away mm -hmm. from the bridge for a moment? 
You can sure try. Um, it's going to be about 80 feet to an alleyway, so it's a pretty long throw to get that precise. But you could always go part of the way down the bridge and then throw it before you get. Who a has a belt? Can I make a? Can I make a like a a bolo like sling to get some more? Are, are we within range? 60 feet of them right now? Uh, you are. Yeah, roughly 60 feet from the two guys that are like leaning against the edge of the bridge. I could cast flee on, or I could cast command and tell one of them to flee and see what the rest of them do. <laughs> Just like run after him? Would they? I mean, what's, what's I the mean, protocol? like if one of your guys starts running away, what are you going to do? Nothing. At least some of them you have to follow. It's always possible they just won't even cut the bridge because they don't know who we are. They don't have to see me at all. As soon as we just have to have, make one of them run away in the other direction. Don't you guys look like wizards? I don't. You don't. Well, okay. Hmm? Wait a second, little one. Mm -hmm. You can do the magics. What can you do? I'm mostly like healing stuff. Well, sh okay, 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 okay. Uh, I mean, I like Wesley's plan. It's, it's 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 interesting to see like if somebody just abandons their duty, like what do the other paladins paladins do? It might get rid of a few of them at least, and then that's at least better mm -hmm. than time. If this spell doesn't work, would I know we're here? Probably. All right, Wesley, entertain us. All right, so are you going to do it from here, or are you all going to start, like, crossing the bridge and as you're crossing, like, initiate this stuff so you're close? Do you think we can, can we, cr I guess we all can cross stealthily and try not to draw attention, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Three of us still have, um... Wizard rooms. No, um, well, yeah. And Pass Without Trace. Oh, Pass Without Trace. trace. Last for, like, an hour. <laughs> and Wizard right. groups, correct. Yeah, the guy with heavy <laughs> armor who has disadvantage on stealth does not. Yeah. Well, he Ooh. was in prison. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but you also have a, a rogue here. Yeah? Oh, 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 actually, wait. Uh, I am going to cast Find Steed. It takes 10 oh. minutes, so I, ha I have to do it before we get into, like, anything deep. Ah, uh, I gotcha. You send out, like, like Aquaman, like, <laughs> to find some horse somewhere to come to your aid. And before me appears a horse of pure white. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, it's a look, it's a donkey. <laughs> this is a horse, and his name is Dennis. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, so he sent us up, but it can take up to ten minutes, so. Where did, where does it come from? Does it cross the bridge? I don't know. It takes ten minutes. We haven't gotten there yet. Well Then uh, I cross the bridge. That might be really awkward for somebody. Okay. Um, okay, let me go first. That way, if things go poorly, I can just run in there and begin hitting things. Wait the 10 minutes first, please. Oh, you want to? Oh, we're gonna, you gonna wait, wait 10 minutes of a bunch of soldiers running around in the tower behind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah the colonists are gonna us. be coming back downstairs at some point. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're searching the place for us. Oh. Yeah, in fact, y'all hear a lot of the fighting upstairs is kind of like there's still some going. You hear some lightning poppy sounds, but I think it's calmed down. Human sees Wesley concentrating really hard and he walks over and goes. What are you doing? Trying to find a horse. What do you need a horse for? So we can just run past all those guys. But a horse can only carry one person. It could carry more than one person, probably. At least two. I, I can run past. You guys sneak past. Wait! Human yeah. could turn into animals! I, I was say, human could be a horse. I can just be a horse. Then we can cross the bridge so fast they won't know what's coming. I know. We need two horses, so you can be one horse, and I can bring another. Right? Oh. Um, and then we just run. Okay. Don't freak out. Uh, and human, human pats Wesley on the head and says, Hey, I need a horse. To the nothing. And then you just see this weird, like, sparkle and wind move. And it coalesces into a horse. He says, see? I made a horse. Now there's a what? horse in the tower. I cast Conjure Animals. <laughs> that's so. Wait, summon that a takes, horse. That takes an action? It's one action. I'm a druid. What the hell? <laughs> why is why it's 10 minutes? You because I... Because I so, yeah. so the difference is I summon fey spirits that take the form of a horse. You summon a literal horse. <laughs> 
Somewhere in town, some dude's horse just ran away from don't me. have to run. Your yeah. horse is being called off from his dinner. Yeah. Don't worry. I, my, the steed I choose has the stats of chosen form that would celestial fay or fiend, your choice. Yeah. It's definitely like the same thing. Yeah, mine <laughs> says you summon fey spirits that take the form of a beast. <laughs> yep. just, so there's a horse just chilling in the, the lobby. Yep. Okay, <laughs> you've I been like pets we're drawing attention to ourselves. We'd be better off just literally running through the middle of them. They don't know we're coming. Okay, ready? And then he's like, he leans down, it gets all long, it says, and I'm a horse. And then, Wait, can we ride the elephant? Can we ride this fay? Yeah, it's a horse. Hey. Get on. Okay, okay. We're, I guess, yes? We who can, wants yes. to ride the magic horse and who wants to ride humans? His name is Wesley. Well, when you put it that way, I choose human. All right. <laughs> How about okay. I'll ride human. I guess I share the magic horse with Wesley? Sure. The horse's name is Wesley. I Wesley, run okay. Wesley. Uh, yes, that's, that's exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. That's my best okay. friend's name. Okay, so give me like a marching order. Who's riding who, and then and what <laughs> order? Uh, <laughs> Anna. Anna is sitting behind uh, human's mane and being protected by Tisla. Correct. Uh, and I just, and you're going first. I just picture Wesley is sitting behind Westless Wayne, being protected by, by <laughs> No, I no, 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 no. I think I, I think uh, Wesley should definitely be in front because he probably has a shield. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, and protected by Althea. Yeah, and yeah, I'll be backing him up, and I, I will stand on the horse, Ooh. on the rear, because I have ranged weapons, but I can also duck behind Wesley and use his shielding. Oh, nice abilities, and we'll lead Bummer. while human yep. falls behind. Sound good? Sure. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Horse All right. plan. Right, so you line up your horses. You uh, you spur them if necessary. <laughs> the best part is you guys spur the horse, and it doesn't move, and then just looks back, and human goes. <laughs> I don't spur you, but I off. smack you right on the horse, Heine. <laughs> <laughs> and the horse takes off and human takes off after the horse. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the two horses go charging across a 60-foot bridge at a pretty good speed. As soon as these horse hooves, like, hit the wood and are charging, all the guards turn like, what the heck is that? Because that's the last thing they expect from that direction. And seeing this, Alatea, you see these two guards by the bridge trying to draw their blades. Uh, do you want to take a shot or anything? since you were prepped to shoot? No, if they aren't attacking us. Well, That's they're drawing me. swords. But what they're not. It? I don't want to preemptively strike them. Okay. I guess I will shoot a warning shot into the air. Yeah, you kind of take this warning shot and you see both of these guys kind of look at each other and y'all are all like 30 feet, 20 feet from the edge of this bridge. And you see the two guards look at each other and they both raise their swords and swing and they both chop the two ropes at the end of this rope bridge. But now yeah, that was going to happen. From the edge. And so, the, the two ropes cut and kind of furl, and you'll feel the bridge kind of sag a little bit on your feet and then stop and not fall. Okay. Can I, how far across the bridge are we? Y'all are about like 10 to 15 feet from the end. I'm and going... the bridge is like literally floating in the air all of a sudden. Oh. Yeah, like they just cut the two ropes that hold this bridge up. But it doesn't it fall. It like an inch and it did not fall. Great. Keep running. Yeah. I'm cast yeah. Field of Faith on <laughs> this horse that we're riding just in case. And as you guys reach the edge of the bridge, suddenly all the guards there just get hit by these shock waves and thrown away. And turning around, you see Basil floating in the air. And he's levitating the bridge and shooting like spells out of his hand. And he goes, Run! Hey, you, you danced to Arch Mage. Look at that. Yeah, he's a badass. We out. Funny <laughs> you mentioned. so cool. Funny you mentioned Arch Mage. Uh, as you reach kind of the edge of this bridge and all, you suddenly hear this kind of booming voice from the top of the tower. And he goes, not so fast, traitors. And he starts casting some kind of spell. And you can hear these magic words. And I'll tell you, give me an arcana check. Ooh, okay. 
And then when Basil at this point kind of floats down next to you guys, I'll kind of stop at the end of this you bridge. Know, my my papa was always just sad. I never really took on to the wizarding thing super much because that's a bad arcana check. Well, with a seven, there's two things that you know about this spell. Number one, it is extremely complex. And number two, it is probably something really, 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 really bad. In fact, like I said, Basil has now landed kind of next to you guys. And his eyes go on and goes, is he insane? He's casting Wish. I don't know what that is. Like, What's I don't know what that do? is either. Do we, need to start, uh, uh, do, do we need to stop him? What kind of wish is he going to have? He told us to run. Are we stopping anything. or are we running? He told you to stop, but when you... Oh, okay. Or told you to run, I'm sorry. But when you got to kind of to the edge mm -hmm. here and this spell and so it kind of started, your horses like kind of came to a halt. There's like debris in the road that keeps off and just like galloping away, basically. Okay. The classic cinematic stop. But we're on the far end of the bridge. Yes, y'all are all on solid ground now good yeah, he's he's good on and you know all D, &D players pretty much know what wishes he starts like glowing this like bright gold and all and he throws his hands out for the big finale and then suddenly he just stops glowing and i need everyone in the party to make an arcana check oh hey that's even with a negative one Oh yeah, wish that yeah. Yeah. Can do like anything. Okay. Human, you suddenly get a little bit lightheaded. Uh Tesla, you get like a headache. And Alethea, it doesn't affect you too much physically, but you suddenly feel like you know the sound of like you're in your house and the power goes out and your AC stops. And it's like, this noise has always been there, so you forget that it's there, but now it's just silent because oh. that, that white noise is gone that you've filtered out for so long. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but in the air. When he went to activate this hugely powerful spell, the air around this space just ran out of magic. Completely out of magic. And the artist kind of stopped, and he kind of looks at his hands for a minute, a little perplexed. And it kind of looks over at all of you. And then the entire wizard's tower drops through the hole and off of the island. Uh, oh! She's like the melee! Um, can, 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 can we start running now? What, what he, way is it? Can I pull the key out? What way is it pointing? Like, fucking burst signal. You have to all touch it. No fun! It's all you're I'm like, oh. I'm like running around and touch the key, touch the key! We have to it's touch a, it at the same time? It's not like activated now? No, you all had to touch it at the same time before. Oh my god, get over here and touch this key! Okay, 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 okay. okay. horse next to you. Okay, Shut all up, of you... No, Okay, in, in the shock of like this whole tower just dropping off the planet, basically. Oh all you pull out this key, you put your hands on it, and all the little lights <laughs> light up as you put your hands on it. Anna being the last one, she reaches up, puts her hand on it. And as it does, a beam of light points off across the city and points directly at a very large structure in the distance. And Wes especially, Wes and Newman both very much recognize this structure as the great library where they first met. That's the place that's out of forest. You you did the what whoops? You just hear nay. <laughs> clip, 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 nay. We don't, we don't speak for you. That's a it's what? The library. Well, okay. What's that mean? I don't know, but we should probably go there. Okay, I'm running like, now. No. Clip, 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 go clip, horse. Clip, 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 clip. Yeah, Basil, I see. All of you go. Uh, do what you need to do. I need to see if I can help. People, this city is about to fall apart. Um, I'm the Archmage now. I'm the only mage now. Right. Okay. Wait, question. Did the other horse you summoned show up? It took uh, it hasn't been 10 minutes yet. It's only been like a minute. Oh, it has been 10 minutes. I, I, I would have stopped casting it. I, I would not have actually. Oh, okay. oh is it like a big show up in like nine minutes? This might no, be in like I, nine I, minutes. I'd be like, hey guys, I made it. Like, Suddenly, yeah. a really fat pig just like walks into the square. <laughs> Riding oh, a half a horse. A cow. Mm. It's a tiny horse. Mm. Okay, okay, so you're running for the library? Yeah, racing uh, for it. 
I'm like, good and luck, we're all, Papa. We're, we're all on horseback. Okay. Yeah, so y'all race on horseback across the city where you see people having witnessed this tall tower just suddenly, like, not be in the sky anymore, like, you know, the landscape of the city. Everyone's going into, like, a full panic, basically, at this point, running up and down the street. Y'all kind of blaze down these streets until you reach the uh, the library and the big steps that climb up into it. And, yeah, y'all are at the library. Do you think we're running out? Like, we're totally out of magics now. Like, he tried to catch the big thing and it sucked all the air and then it was like, bleh, bleh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're 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 probably gonna we're probably gonna want to be careful going forward uh, to not uh, be casting human magic hmm? willy willy nilly. We might want to be careful about uh, Wesley, you as well with the magics uh, about casting because yeah. we are <laughs> might fall out the sky. Can I sense if there's magic? around me anymore uh you as an innate like spellcaster would sense it but to put it mechanically to you it is very like dry like there's patches of no magic so from here to the end of the game basically or until you find a way for magic or not if you cast a spell there is now a chance that your spell is going to fail and it will still consume your slot and it will still consume your action and your fit spell will either fail or go like go wild and do the wrong thing Ooh. I just got these slots. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have used them. Well, I'm glad now that I just punch things. Cheater. What are we looking for? Touch the key! Touch the key! Yeah, no one touches the key. You, <laughs> and human, it, it, human, like, the front doors of the library on the right side. Human rears to, like, knock uh, Tisla and Anna off of him and then begins to turn back into human. Oh, that was super fun! Okay, so it's in the library. Um, yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Um, and I just like push the doors open. All right. Yeah, you open the door and y'all kind of like all kind of keep your hand on the key. And this light is kind of pointing towards one of the big main seat- seating areas, kind of towards the middle of the library. Okay. Can go. We break yeah, out. We go over to I guess where it is. Goodbye, okay. Wesley. Yeah, so I'll run like kind of between some bookshelves towards the center of the library. Uh, interestingly, through the very like aisle of books where uh, where Wes encountered like his uh, you know the, the the priest and was confronted about human and those things. Oh yeah. You know, continue in until you basically get to the spot where there's a bunch of tables and chairs and like you know books piled up on various spots. There's no one in here studying right now because people outside panicking, but. The beam is actually pointing kind of to, like almost underneath like one of the tables or something. If one of you wants to go check it out. I'll go check it out. Guys, be very yeah. careful in here. I got lost in here for weeks. I know this library like the back of my hand. Oh, oh. well, okay. Wesley knows the library like the back of his hand, then he can find investigate it. and find the thing. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, Wes, you go over. And you see where the beam is hitting the floor. Like, it's just going into the floor. But then you realize that this isn't, like, a wood floor or something. There's, a like, a rug that covers the whole of the floor in this library. <laughs> pull the rug. <laughs> yeah, so you probably even have to, like, pull out your dagger and, like, cut, like, a little square of it out. And the interesting thing is you got to move the chair that's over the spot where this is. And then you realize this is the chair you were sitting in when you met human at the table you were sitting at at the very beginning of your adventure and underneath your seat as you cut with a dagger you reveal a trap door why why here i was like here I, I like run over and I move the table. <laughs> I take the whole thing. Just just throw, like, the table. throw it out of the way. But what'd you find? I knew this place was a magical forest. I'll open, I guess I'll open the trap door. Yay. Okay. You see basically a very long, very dark tunnel with a ladder that climbs down very far into the dark. And you hear, like, the howling sound of, like, wind and stuff, and you can smell, like, dust. This place has not been accessed for a very long time. Ooh, what's well, in there? 
Well, human, one can only rightfully assume it's a hole to the centre of the island. Is there snacks? Probably not. Oh. But, hey, but you can make them their pocket berries. No, I can't make pocket berries. That's a good idea. Okay, so who's first? Um, wait, are we touching the thing to make sure that it's, is it like pointing down the hole or? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna put your hands on the key. Or we're like, like over the hole. murder hole. <laughs> Yeah, and basically, Forever like, trap. when you do it, the beam goes towards this trap hole, and if you move the key, like, all together over the hole, the beam disappears and the key just glows. You have found the spot. Okay. Um, right so... I, I, I'll go first. You want me to go first? I can see in the dark. I love holes. I can't see in the dark. That's fine, because uh, we can, Tizla and I, lead, and I'm sure we have a torch. Oh, I just um, do this. And he makes a tiny campfire in his hand and then throws it down the hole. He goes a really long way down, Ooh. probably like a good, like, 100 feet or so of ladder straight down, and then it tinks onto, it sounds like a metal floor below. Ooh. My goodness. Okay, well, this is a right fine hole, I must add. Expertly dug. I expertly crafted hole. You are is it the a, hole expert. Is it a dwarf? <laughs> is it a dwarf hole? Is it a dwarf hole? Roll me a. Uh, I don't know. What, what's like your stone working? History, um, it's based on history, but I believe I get advantage. Which yeah. uh, yes, you get twice your proficiency okay. bonus. Oh, okay. Double, Double my proficiency history. on it. Okay. So, All right, roll that history. Well, I'm not terribly insightful. So you get another three on it. An eight. You're not sure, like, the exact origin of it, but it could be Dwarvish. It really could be. I mean, just logically speaking, do, have you ever known anything but a dwarf to dig a hole this nice? Yeah. Other than a badger? Yeah. Oh, well, you men, we've not all seen a thing. Other than a mole! You did! <laughs> There's a giant metal snake. He dug a really nice hole. A what? Uh Oh, you mean the big mo the metal monster? The metal snake, yeah. The worm, the, 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 the snow, the snow, the snow worm that we were yeah. supposed to, that we did. Yeah, it could be his hole. Tiny okay. metal worm. Well, I think we have to go <laughs> down the, the hole. The um, and Tisla jumps in and grabs a sign and like rides it down, like you know, fireman style, to the bottom. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, and as you do so, you slide down this railing, and once you kind of pass the threshold and start sliding. You hear this little voice kind of echo through like this whole space, and it goes, "Welcome, Tisla." Oh, I Did we know hear that? that? Somebody knows. Yeah, everyone that. heard it. Oh, that's weird. Is, and Anna, this, do you know what's going on? Like, we haven't actually talked to you, Anna. I, I, nice to like meet you <laughs> again. I guess. I, I know what what you know. We had the dream, and it just seemed like it made sense for something, and. I mean, I knew the keys were a thing because my mom had a piece of it, and that's about what I got. Okay, well, I'm glad that you're here. I was like, Tizzle's staring up from the bottom of a hole. Um, friends? Friends, friends, friends. Yeah, I guess I... <laughs> Are you at the bottom? What do you see? Oh, uh, what do my dwarf eyes see? Just a long tunnel that seems to kind of run, like, further into the cave. It's a big old tunnel! But it's got a metal floor. It's got we told you it was a metal worm. Right. Well, I guess I'll go next. And Anna yeah. kind of pulls out like yeah. a little, like she actually <laughs> takes like her staff and holds it kind of in one hand and it glows to give her light as she casts light. Nice. And uh, she begins making her way down the ladder and a couple rungs in and it goes, welcome, Anna. Ooh. Okay. Who's next? I I'm, can go. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I am going to carefully walk my way down that that ladder. Okay, yep, and a couple of rungs in, it goes... It takes you far too long. <laughs> and it goes, welcome, Captain Wesley. Ooh. Captain? Captain? Do you know Never captain? captain of anything. Of, except for our friendship huddles. Oh, yay. I don't even know if... Well, we're all equal partners in a friendship huddle. Oh. Uh, well, you can you be the captain if you want to. You're next. 
Uh, like, rah, rah. Yeah. <laughs> human but human you climbs mean? down and says, "Okay, I'll see you down there. I miss you already." <laughs> and he starts climbing down. And, and the voice goes, "Welcome, human." Yay! That's me. Do 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 do. And he starts. I just want to clear down. that was with an H. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't. Get it. I just want to make sure that guy. Oh, I got it. Okay. Huh. Do, do, okay. do, 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 do. And Althea is left alone at the top. And there's, all right, and I am going to, in order to disguise our entrance a little mm -hmm. bit, I would like to pull the rug back over the hole as I descend mm -hmm. okay. into it. Yeah. So that, you know, people just walking by can't come down here and get us. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're going to kind of slide the table back over it or something. I don't know that I could move the table as well as Tizzle oh, did. It's but... cheap library furniture. You got a magic okay. key. Cheap library. Are you okay? Sure. Yeah. So I stealthily and masterfully disguise the way that we enter this hole, and then I I want to do what Tizzle did because that seemed efficient. As long as I'm not gonna like slam into human. Yeah, they, they probably kind of, probably like fixing the entrance kind of took some time, so you'd okay. be all right. Cool. Yeah. Let's get down there. All right, you slide by, and that voice kind of echoes through again. He goes, welcome, professor. All righty, and then you guys kind of slide down there into the darkness. And as you do so, our kind of TV show camera pans to a small shop where Emperor Knight of the Iron Nation sits on a small couch reading a worn-out book. Suddenly, the door swings open, accompanied by a soft coughing sound. In walks a somewhat crispy but otherwise unharmed kobold, muttering under his breath something about cheap shots and, and airship fuel. The emperor's eyes widen at the sight of Mortimer, still smoking a bit from the recent fiery crash. Emperor Knight smiles slightly. So what the hell happened to you? And that's where we're going to end this week. Oh, wow. Okay. Mortimer's alive! Uh, alive. Well, I'm so glad, because let me tell you, there will be no deaths in this friendship huddle. <laughs> no, he's, alive. Sorry, he's a part of the friendship huddle. He's basically a PC. He is. Yeah. And there's no way that's my all, That's all it takes goodness. to become a PC. Now, of course, if the, uh, the island falls, then uh, he's dead. So, yeah. Well. And then we all are, though. So. Wow. Hey, wow. It's a little early, but hey. Yeah, that's all good. Hey, we we made some to... we made some quality decisions tonight, gang. No, did no made some quality decisions. We made some quality decisions. The horse was a great idea. Yeah, I'm sorry that yours takes ten minutes to summon. Because I'll tell you I'm what, salty my... about that. that I'm sorry about it. Dude. I... That's okay. I had that I'm same. I'm more salty about Jack not letting me summon a Pegasus. I was asking I mean... Jack and Chad if I could use Fine Steed to summon a Pegasus. You're not a good, like, you're not a paladin enough paladin for that. I had that same <laughs> shit happen. Not I'm not enough of Captain Wesley, what? How are, yeah, Captain Wesley can't summon a Pegasus? We're, <laughs> we're on an island well, in the sky. How is that just not what horses are here? Maybe, like, in the Why doesn't everything have wings? <laughs> the squirrel. If goblins have wings, horses. so can my horse. Maybe in season two. <laughs> oh, That's what man. I was like. I was like, like, druids can't get flying until, like, like a regular yeah. druid. Can't get flying until, like, level eight. I'm like, eight. what a useless thing to be on a yeah. flying island that I can't be a goddamn That you can't bird. fly. Yeah, can't I don't fly. think you get swimming until, like, what, four or five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I had plans, though. I did have plans of that bridge. I was gonna give. I was gonna jump off and grab it. I was to hold the bridge for everybody. <laughs> I had I had one of those uh, those ten minute spells on Tuesday when I was like the whole party was dying and I was like I cast prayer of healing. They were like no you don't. It cast ten minutes and I was like what a bullshit spell. Get that what a garbage spell. spell. <laughs> they were like yeah you could use it when you could when you could take a short rest instead and I was like no fuck that. Get that ten minute shit out of here. Garbage. <laughs> it's a short rest spell. Yeah, I'm like, that's so dumb. Who's casting spells in a short rest? We have a bard. We have to sing a yeah. song. We're going to spend yeah. all our hit points. Uh, all right, guys. That was episode 11, Falling. Uh, episode 12 is going to be called... The Heart of the Island, Part Ooh, 1. Ooh, Part 1. Ooh. Uh, the Heart of the Island, Part 1, is the penultimate episode of Island in the Sky, uh, which is exciting. Uh, after that episode, we have the finale, and then we are off... For, we're off for two weeks. 
there will be streams, but there won't be tabletop. Or there may be tabletop. Who the hell knows? Not me. Um, <laughs> we do have a 12-hour charity stream coming up on the 23rd. That's the right date. The 23rd of December. Uh, that is our final push for Extra Life, which is super dope because we're 500 shy of $10,000 raised <gasps> this year. That's amazing! Uh, which is bananas. Uh, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, as a team, we will have raised $5,000. I'm sorry, $10,000. As a channel, I think we're like seven and change thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, which is also super duper cool. Uh, and I'm excited for Extra Life 2019. I got a lot of big plans for that. Super cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go around, do our introductions, and get the hell out of here and host one of our friends. Uh, let's start with uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And what did you think of today's episode? I am Chelsea. You can find me at Little Red Dot on all of the social medias and the Twitches um, and things of that nature. I play a ton of tabletop RPG with a ton of awesome people. Uh, when I'm not on this channel, you can find me on lots of other channels. So you can check my schedule um, out over on Twitter. And if you don't Twitter and you prefer Discord, you can put me in that Discord where you can find the link on my Twitter. Um, today's episode... I'm pretty sure Tizla's guts are in a mess between the falling, the regurgitating. Yeah, yeah, there's just, there's been a lot of like, her stomach's a little queasy. I'm gonna be really honest. So that's step one. Step two is holy crap, there are pieces of the island that are just falling off. It's like California. <clears throat> it's just, it's just gonna fall off. Like, it just dropped. And praise be that your father made it to the other side, like, mm mm. Tis was done You're with. I'll let she know she lives on an island. She doesn't want to live on an island in the sky anymore. She wants to live on solid ground where she always thought she lived. Uh, perfect. As, as we go to get <laughs> raided, as we go to leave, we get raided by WebDM. Thank you guys so much for the raid. Uh, damn you, Grant. I was about to raid you guys. Uh, I appreciate. Oh. I appreciate the raid. Classic. Uh, but we are wrapping this stream, so we're going to pass your raid love on to someone else. But in the meantime, let's continue our introductions. Let's jump right over to Not So Speedrun. Speedy, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And what did you think of this episode? Hello. Um, this episode was bananas indeed. Uh, like, I was off for one week and things, things got real crazy. Uh, there were explosions. There were parts of the island falling. Uh... I was in prison and I found Althea's dad, which was cool. I tried to summon a horse. It didn't work out so good. Um, man, fuck fine steed taking 10 minutes. Come on. I want to be able to magically, in the middle of a battle, just call a steed and just like, just jump on it and start just ramming people with my horse. It would be so cool. It would be a way, way cooler thing to do. Anyways. Maybe in 6th edition. <sighs> you know... We can only hope. Um, <laughs> regardless, uh, this is super fun. I can't wait for next week. I can't wait to finish this. I'm glad to have Super Best Friends Club reunited once again. Uh, as for me, I am Speedy. I am Not So Speedruns. You can find me everywhere at Not So Speedruns. Uh, I also organize the uh, community Cast Together, which is a group of streamers supporting mental health causes. Um, really supportive community. Uh, you can Check them out on Twitter uh, at Cast Together and find the Discord link there too. Um, you can also now catch me on Encounter Roleplay on Monday nights, where I am in uh, the, the Game of Thrones War of the Roses, uh, along with Bird vs. Plane and Awkward Kitty Ink and Joseph is Not Fast. And it's super good. I played a character, I introduced a character, they've already been playing this, I introduced a character that all of them already wanted to kill, and I'm trying to convince them to trust me. So it's great. <laughs> You're muted. Uh, you're muted. My... Now I'm sad. Uh, <laughs> definitely someone who has no trust issues in this game. Kenny, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And what did you think of this episode? I've had to exercise so much trust and faith in things that I am not used to as a character. Uh, and I just love this episode and the story just gets weirder and weirder and i think it's gonna go one place and it's like <laughs> nope so i've i've just been enjoying it so much and the character development and the story development and i'm kenny hill and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash kenny hill youtube.com slash kenny hill twitter.com slash kenny hill it's spelled with a k and an e and an n and an i h-i-l-l -L. wow 
people get caught up on the spelling. I was like, I never spell it out for anyone anymore. But I was like, yeah, it's kind of a weird name. Yeah, so good. I enjoy this group so much. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> you know who doesn't enjoy this group, I think, secretly? Jack. Jack, who are you? Where can we find you on the internet? And what did you think of this episode? Oh, I love this group because, I mean, the more y'all do this stuff, the more the TPK at the end is going to be just sweeter. Son of a bitch. <sighs> anyway. Son of a bitch. Uh, I am. My name is Jack. I go by Jacko Buddy everywhere online uh, on Twitter and all those places. Uh, Tuesday nights, I'm on the Reliant Game Stream, uh, which is a group that a company that I own that uh, is currently working on some cool new stuff. So you should check us out if you like cool new RPG things. And then on Thursdays for at least two more weeks, I'm here on Unmade Gaming. And then no, oh, it's over. Which uh, man, let me tell you. This was one of the episodes when I, I wrote this whole campaign out. I was like the most excited for. It. I was like, man, like the first thing I wrote in this campaign was cool tower just so we can like fall someday. Yeah. <laughs> All the facial expressions were so worth it for that. Plummet the tower. <laughs> just plummet the tower. Like the first thing I wrote. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I love this group. It's super fun. The game has been great. The next two episodes are going to be full of all kinds of answers we've all been wanting and cool character moments and things. You're going to finally know what's, what's going on. This game's not going to leave you with questions and things. It's going to leave you with answers and understanding and wow, that was cool kind of stuff. Which uh, don't take the before stream discussion about loss as any indicator as to how complex this ending's going to be. Fantastic, I hope. Uh, speaking of Reliant Games, Jack is also here as part of Reliant Games. They are one of the sponsors of this show here. Uh, for all your podcast needs, go check them out on Twitter. Uh, they do the hosting, they do the editing, they do all that fun stuff. They're actually be turning this into a podcast. Um, and if you love uh, Kenny's beautiful face and her amazing role playing, you will love her dice. Go check out the dice of rolling. They are a full set of polyhedral dice with optimized quantities and super fun colors for D&D 5e. Get them for new players, get them for old players, get them as stocking stuffers. Christmas is right around the corner. Or Hanukkah. You get eight crazy nights. Give gifts away all the time. Uh, use coupon code UMG for a dollar off and uh, yeah, have some fun with that. And last but not least, guys, if you would like to help the channel, uh, we are trying to get to a place where we can pay all the beautiful faces you see before you the people that are writing the blogs, the people that are doing all kinds of fun stuff for us, so go check out our Patreon. That being said, uh, we're going to leave you with an amazing raid over to our good friend Scraticus, who's playing what looks like an anime game uh, with people. So I don't know what that RPG is, but it should be fun, so go check that out. And from all of us to you guys, bye bye